so the Intel and the AMD war let's take a look at the Intel's highest performing processor that's available as on August 2014 it's i7-4770k and the AMD is FX9590 now uh, before we go into the comparison let's check their prices because that's what makes we want to build a cheap a high performance desktop computers potentially using the stock parts available uh, and we are possibly a system integrator or a enthusiast who want a high performance desktop so for $269 we can get an AMD FX9590 Vishera processor now for run to Intel uh, i7-4770K the Haswell processor is available for $334 that's it, a significant difference of about like $65 or so so what is the incentive of using Haswell we'll take a look at some of their key specification in terms of clock frequency war AMD is winning here even though it's uh, it's a bit old story where AMD at one point of time had said that its Athlon processor even though it clocked at 1 gigahertz were better than the corresponding Intel's uh, whatever Pentium 3 or Pentium 4 processors but that's long time ago let's take a look at the turbo clock frequency again the AMD is winning the clock frequency but that's only half of the story in terms of the benchmark scores we have a number of uh, benchmarks available and the performance are about the same the only reason Intel's in this case is winning is because it's the score is over for overclocked version or the average of the overclock and non overclocked CPU that were uploaded on the past market score at their, uh, at their stock clock frequency AMD is possibly winning we will not go into the too much of detail on the benchmark different benchmark scores of single core or 8 core or quad core or whatever but the basic um, the basic thing that we would like to point out is that both of them have roughly equal CPU clock performance so what makes C Intel better that's a good question to ask and the biggest uh, question that things that uh, goes in favor of Intel is the thermal dissipation power rating the Intel is way way too runs way too cooler than the AMD's processor it's just the 84 watts the, well, the AMD has a thermal dissipation rating of 220 watts in other words you need to keep a very good cooling arrangement to get the processor running what it also means that AMD runs way too hot it consumes too much of power so if you are if you want to keep your processor running for a lot of time you also end up burning more electricity now that aside there are a couple of more uh, differences that you like to point out one of them is the integrated graphics now if you are making a gaming desktop then you need a separate graphics card anyway so in that case this doesn't matter but if your intention is not gaming but just the just the desktop processor with a good processing power in that case Intel does come with an integrated SD graphics and that saves you uh, whatever 10 20 30 dollars even if it's a if it's a very low end graphics you will still need a graphics card that being the case the price difference that a uh, AMD enjoys it evaporates so that given that case it's your choice if you want if you want a cheaper processor you can potentially go with the AMD get about the same processor and if, if especially for a gaming thing AMD is much better but if you want cooler performance and you don't need fit for gaming just for the CPU performance uh, Intel could be better hope that it uh, you find it useful